we want to determine the second derivative of the vector valued function. To find the second derivative, we need to find the second derivative with respect to t of both the x and y components. We begin by determining the first derivative, the derivative of 3t squared is 6t, then we have plus the derivative of 4 cosine 2t. Notice here we need to apply the chain rule. The derivative of 4 cosine 2t is equal to 4 times negative sine 2t times the derivative of 2t, which is 2. And now for the y component, the derivative of 5t is equal to 5. And then we have minus the derivative of sine 6t, which is equal to cosine 6t times 6. Let's go ahead and simplify the first derivative. We have r prime of t has an x component of 6t, and then here we have minus 8 sine 2t. And for the y component we have 5 minus 6 cosine 6t. And now we need to find the second derivative, which is the derivative of the first derivative. The derivative of 6t is 6, and then minus the derivative of 8 sine 2t, which is equal to 8 cosine 2t times the derivative of 2t, which is 2. And then for the y component, the derivative of 5 is equal to 0. So the derivative of negative 6 cosine 6t is equal to negative 6 times negative sine 6t times the derivative of 6t, which is 6. Simplifying one last time, the second derivative has an x component of 6 minus 16 cosine 2t and a y component of positive 36 sine 6t. I hope you found this helpful.